Hey guys, my name is Al and today I'm going to show you how to create or how to retouch skin in Photoshop. The picture that I'm using today is from Isaac Ruiz. I'll leave his name and the link to his Facebook page in the description box below. So let's get started. So create two, uh, two copy, duplicate copies of the layers and rename the lower one as low frequency or skin and the upper top layer as the texture or high. Okay, now just disable the first layer on the top and then select the low layer. Click on filter, blur, Gaussian blur and blur to the amount where the texture of the skin gets blur and the incons inconsistency is removed. Click OK. Now activate the top layer and select it. Click on image, apply image and then select the low layer in the layers panel, subtract as the blending and the scale would be 2, offset would be 128. Set it to linear light. Next up, select the low layer again, pick the lasso tool, you can zoom it to get the clear picture or else a closer view so that you can see the inconsistencies better. Now select the lasso tool, and make a selection. You don't have to be absolutely perfect in here, but you can just make a random selection and show that you are not going very close to the hair. To feather it, just click on scale, I'm sorry, select and mask, and uh, select the, uh, the layered uh, dis uh, display as the red so that it is more clear to you. Now, ensure that the feather, you move the slider just enough that you get the blur something like this. So just note down the number that you see on the top and click on cancel and enter that same number on the top feather here. So I entered the number. Now again click on filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And you can blur it as per your convenience. I'm going to use the same one. Select the other part of the skin and do the same thing. You can press Ctrl F to apply the same Gaussian blur which you have used. So I'll press Ctrl F and you can see the skin consistency on the right hand side. Uh, on the left hand side is more clear now. Now we'll go to the right hand side and do the same thing. I'm not going to touch the nose in here because we are going to work on it in, a, in some time. You can do that to the remaining face as well. Ensure you don't get on the lips in here. Like so. Okay, let me zoom out. So this is the difference. You can see it's already showing up and it's looking much more neat, much more clear. Now we would work on the neck part. So just randomly select the area just around the hand on the right on the right hand side. And you don't have to be perfect in this one because it's a tutorial. But then yes, if in case you're doing it for a professional, you need you need to ensure that you're going very consistently consistently. 
on the right hand side as well on the left hand side as well do the same thing press ctrl f to apply the same gaussian blur so that's about it in terms of the uh, the skin part now we would work on the wrinkles and the nose part so let me show you the before and after and then we would move on to the texture select the top layer which is the high layer or the texture layer whatever you have renamed it and then you see those wrinkles that's what we have to work on now select the clone stamp tool ensure the mode is normal and then sample is current layer opacity at 80 you can also keep it lower if you want that depends on the amount of intensity you want to show on the picture now sample a layer which is a smooth area and then paint it over the wrinkles so that it is actually painting it away the wrinkles you need to sample it multiple times from the nearby area so that you can ensure that the transition is smooth and consistent do it multiple times and don't be in a hurry you need to be very gentle and careful in this you would also work on the nose just sample a small area and then start painting it over and then ensure that you're taking regular samples in between so that the inconsistence the con that is a consistent transition you see the nose is also getting smooth now okay now we would also work on the small blotches that we see on the right and left hand side same way we would also work on the wrinkles under the eye it's not going to affect the texture um, the skin color reason being is because we have already separated it so that way we are only working on the texture and it's not affecting the skin in any way so you see that it's actually making it very smooth that's it we are done in this uh, in uh, you know making the texture now you see this is quite simply very smooth now let me just show you the difference you see the under eye the wrinkles on the top everything is so smooth right now now I'll add a little bit of contrast so that we can you know whatever the highlights we have uh, lost is actually we are getting it back so I've just added just about very subtle contrast and let me just merge the layer and show you the before and after that's it this is the before and the after and uh, that's about it this is how we reach a retouch skin in photoshop and this is one trick there are a lot more tricks available but then you know that may be a part of the new future tutorials if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and stay updated for the new videos coming in every saturday and sunday thank you